I laid my hands on my girlfriend out of reflex when I woke up to her doing certain things to me, I feel like a monster now. I feel horrible for what I did. How do I even start this? Let me just start by saying that I, 21 male, would never lay my hands on my girlfriend, 20 female, intentionally. Let alone hurt her in any way. My girlfriend has a very high intimate drive unlike me and therefore she is the one to initiate intimate most of the time. It took me a few years to fully trust her but she was such a loving and caring person who understood my trauma and was always able to control herself even with her high intimate drive. When I was a child I was essayed by my own egg donor. I remember how she covered my mouth with her hand while holding me down and I tried to scream and defend myself. But I was just a little boy and she was a grown woman. I wouldn't call her mother because that's not what mothers do. This traumatized me and it destroyed every relationship I tried to build with a woman. It was hard for me to trust one until my girlfriend appeared. And she always respected my consent so far. Yesterday evening she wanted to make love and I told her I wasn't in the mood right now and then I turned around. I woke up in the middle of the night to my blanket gone and her down on me. My heart started beating really fast. All the anxiety I felt as a child came back and before I realized, I whacked her so hard she fell off my side of the bed. I immediately realized what I just did. The only thing I thought about was that I laid my hands on her. She held her cheek while looking at me with a shocked face before starting to cry. I wanted to comfort her and apologize but she ran out of the room into the bathroom where she cried her eyes out and then she went to sleep on the couch. I apologized repeatedly but she refuses to talk to me. I feel so bad. I know I am a horrible person and there is no excuse for this. But what can I do so that she speaks to me again? Is there anything I can do so she forgives me? Update 3 days later, when I made the original post I definitely didn't think it would blow up like this. And I certainly didn't expect the comments to be so one-sided. And I didn't expect them to be on my side. I expected nothing but people telling me how horrible I was and I felt that this would be the only comment I deserved. But after reading literally thousands of comments I slowly began to realize what actually happened there. You have to understand that this moment shocked me to the core and the shock still was there when I uploaded the original post. I saw myself as the absolutely disgusting women beater because of it. I never wanted to hurt anyone but I realized now that it was a trauma response. When I woke up to her going down on me it felt like my whole body was controlled by someone else. Like I was controlled by strings that forced me to react like that. And the more comments I read the more I was sure about that. One day after the post, I talked to her about it and I broke up with her. Because all of this made me realize that my perspective of loving and caring was pretty screwed up. I realized that she showed me the bare minimum of compassion someone should have in a relationship and I noticed many toxic patterns I haven't realized before. But going into them now would not only be irrelevant to the actual topic, but it also would take way too long for this update post. By the way, she refused to apologize to me and demanded an apology from me. Besides my now ex-girlfriend I only had one friend. I don't have an actual mother or a father. I don't have grandparents or siblings. Just this one friend. So I really lack of healthy bonds in my life. Breaking up with her was a hard thing to do but it was necessary. She currently stays with her mom who also called me yesterday to ask why I broke up with her, and I saw no reason to lie and just told her everything. She was quiet on the phone for a while and then just told me her daughter's ex-boyfriend broke up with her for a similar reason. She said it wasn't the same situation but a similar one and then she apologized. She didn't go into details, but if I'm interpreting it correctly, my ex seems to have a thing for traumatized men. But again there is no evidence to support that claim. That's just how I would interpret this conversation with her mom. So what am I going to do now? Well I'm going to therapy and probably won't enter a new relationship anytime soon. I focus on myself and I have to heal. No I won't press charges because that would mean that I would have to deal with it in a negative way and put energy into it that I just don't have. I hope you can understand that. Her mom is probably going to punish her anyway. And losing the respect of a person you love dearly, I can imagine that's worse than what she would get as a punishment from the court. As for you, I would like to thank you all for your comments. They were so helpful and assuring. Update 5 months later, I can't believe that I'm updating again after such a long time but now something happened and I think some of you might be interested. I've been through a healing process and even though the scars of my past may never fully heal, they definitely can be brought to a point where I can live with them and it's perfectly fine. However what happened that I felt the need to update you? Well, apparently my ex got reported by someone. The letter arrived today and they need me as a witness. Probably another guy who she felt the need to re-traumatize or maybe even her ex. Who knows? Wouldn't be the first time. I'm not quite familiar with the details yet but I think I'm ready. A few months ago the wounds were fresh and I had to put myself first. This is why I refused to report her myself. I explained back then that if I reported her then I would have been forced to deal with this again in a negative way and put energy into it that I just don't have. But maybe I can get something close to justice now that I feel better. I think I'm going to do it. Final update, the last time I updated was a year ago. It's probably time to tell you what happened. Quick summary, the last time I was called to court as a witness when a man assuming one of her exes accused her of the same thing. I shared my story and she was found guilty. Turned out besides me there was another guy who was also called as a witness. And our stories had so much in common you wouldn't believe it. Interesting enough her mother wasn't even trying to defend her daughter. She just apologized to me again in person when we left the building. If you're thinking my ex got the deserved punishment well I don't know about that. You decide for yourself if you think it's enough. She wasn't sent to jail just to 6 months community service. But if I'm honest with you I'm fine with that. It was never about whether her punishment was great enough. It was never about revenge or anything. It was simply about satisfaction that she's not getting away with it. And with that this chapter is now closed for good. I thought I should probably let you know. I want to thank all of you for your support. I shared my story about a year ago and to this day people interact with me. They write me messages and it's heartwarming. 
I was able to heal and even find new friends. And I promise I will never forget what this community did for me. Wish you a happy life. And maybe we'll see us someday again. Bye.